Well, welcome to CCTV Cinema. I'm gonna take you guys back tonight. So pick a pill, blue or red. Okay, I'm gonna take you way back into retro time, way back farther past that. I'm gonna take you all the way back to when retro TV was like that. This is a capture that was given to a man on a USB and it was a turn of the century. And I've done is I've taken this thing, slowed it down, uh, crystallized the picture so you can see what's really going on and there's a lot so keep watching it's incredible now there's not a lot of whole lot of information on this place um, it was a German man, so I'm assuming that it was Germany, but if you know those buildings, it was like 1909, and this was apparently what a man caught on a really, probably a private home, probably a real expensive camera back in the day, like the first live filming, 8mm, might even be the ones that you turn, you know, um, but this is turn of the century stuff, it's showing like Mexico, Germany, it looks like. But anyways, I freeze frame a lot of pictures, um, and I have a lot of, I'm going to show you at the end that I just took into my professional filters and recreated, like, you can see what's there, but just bring the light to a perfect pitch, and I'll put them at the end like a little slideshow. So keep watching. Okay guys, this video is a little bit loud, and I did that for cell phone. 60% of you people have cell phones watching my videos. So I try to bring clarity in the sound. Now just so you know, this picture right here, it looked like a planet at first to me, but it actually, it's a, there's a like a orb, and then the roundness on the left there is actual wall. They actually shoot into this cave or army facility or something building. I mean, big explosion goes on, so watch it, watch it. So, so I'm hoping that the soundscape's not too loud, but I'm going to leave it the way it is. You guys can turn your phone down, and uh, it's meant to give you a little heart jolt sometimes. Um, just to, I'm letting you feel what I'm feeling, so enjoy it. I mean, just turn it down if it's too loud, but I want you to feel this fight. <laughs> My prerogative, I'm the creator, right? I don't get many tips, so I, I just do what I want because, you know... I don't know how good I'm doing. Tips also help. <laughs> I'm pretty broke. Don't mean to beg. Bye. <laughs> not, not bye. Now, if you know what this building is, please put it in the comments. Look at this man on top of this building. He's watching the whole thing going on. Um, there's some weird stuff in this clip, but whoever gave it to him, I think they pretty much was all over the world doing different videos of air wars with UFOs. I don't know, but the one right there, you know, with the, the, the brown planet, or not the planet, but the, it's like a, it's like a base, fort base. Look at that UFO up in there. You can see incoming stuff, outgoing stuff. I mean, this is the best quality they had, and I cleaned it up and slowed it down quite a bit. 
you can hardly see any of this for real at all. It's crazy.
Now folks, I do have a lot of questions if this is real or not, but you gotta remember a few things. They didn't have the ability to fake all this with CGI like we do now. So when I took this apart and slowed it down, I was amazed by some of the stuff they caught because I have saw some of the stuff in the sky. This spot right here, this whole thing right here, I thought it was a planet, but uh, but it's definitely an orb out there. It's inside of a shelter. And this right here, is, I, I'm thinking Germany somewhere. It's like these, these planes, anti-gravity type planes, this man's watching everything. So I'm going to do a little forensic show, which I, I take this thing where I could go up 1300%. I could look at if it's actually something there, if it's just a picture on top of a picture, like CGI. And uh, we'll see what it comes out to. So after these pictures flip through, uh, stay with me, because this is like a little investigation to see if this thing's even real. This guy is pretty real. I could almost at one point in uh, 5K bring his face in clarity. But I don't. Anyways, my headphones dying. My speaker mouth mouthpiece is dying right now. So I better get off. Bah. Keep watching to the end. Look at this little ship. I'm amazed at this little light ship here. All right. Now, do you think some of this could have been Germany's uh, inventions with airships like the turn of the century? Or do you think they got information from fallen angels or UFO aliens, extraterrestrials, lizard people, whatever. But, you see the orbs? There's different fleets of different UFOs. Now, these more look like flying machines. And they, this one always throws smoke. But the rear end of this thing, I've seen it enough, in the clouds. So I'm wondering if they're still using that technology. Um, this is just me, you know, speculating and doing all this, you know. But, uh, you know, I'm thinking this is real footage. This guy traveled around the world. He watched them build buildings. He watched uh, fights with these things. I don't know these places, honestly, but if some of you guys are world travelers and you've seen this place, This is about day five. I'm working on this. It's uh, Wednesday morning. I think it's the fifth or the sixth. Anyways, I think it's the sixth. Anyways, I'm gonna continue on this. What you're seeing is my, um, I'm using my forensic tool, and over here you'll see things like magnify, clone, era, 
Okay, well, the ones I use illuminate, which turns it inside out. So whatever's real will be an indent, and whatever's clouds will be um, an outdent. It's like they're coming towards you. But these little objects, you know, are actually real objects. Let me show you. Right there. Let's turn it down. See if that's a cloud. See, that's a, like, this is like saucers and missiles. That's some type of, you know, the range. The range, or a ringa, whatever the range from the planet uh, Star Trek. You know, it's just weird stuff I've never seen before. I'm thinking it's all real. We put another picture up there. And here's some of the other objects right here. See now, <clears throat> this is what you're seeing. I don't think they had CGI back in the day. But um, these pieces were like clipped together. Like if you took a cutter and cut the film and then clipped it with the special tape. Well, I took those sections out because this guy looks like he put four different places he was at with his camera. And this could be a government camera. It's a very high quality personal camera, it seems to me. Now right here, all the black spots, the things that are real are black and they're indented. Um, right there, like these, these objects are indented. When they're indented, they're real. They're a real substance, so it wasn't photoshopped. I mean, if someone photoshopped this, they took years to do it because this is some, it's real, folks. So turn of the century, um, eight millimeter maybe, or whatever the next millimeter was. I'm not a photographer, I just know how to look and see stuff. So in the video you were watching these guys fly through fighting there. Some of them were sending out missiles. There was orbs attacking them. I don't know if this is Jeremy's flying equipment or if it's just aiming and flying equipment. But it's, these objects are really out there. You don't get much clarity with um, turn of the century cameras. So continue watching and it's self explanatory over here. You'll watch what I'm doing. And uh, glad you came to the video. If I don't talk again, um, I'll see you at the next video after this one. Also, remember to subscribe, share the video three times, and like. Because I'm shadow banned so hard. If I didn't do my own advertisement on Facebook, then I'd probably get 200 hits on these. But as it looks, I'm getting four or 500 hits, which is, I'm satisfied. All my friends get to see it, 500 of them. God bless. Got Jesus. You're going to need them in this war. Look at this thing. These are orbs. Wow, incredible footage. I don't know if it's Tartarian, but it looks like Tartarian type footage, so who knows? Turn to Century Warfare. See how the objects right there, that, that looks like a missile head. See how it's, uh, the, the rocks down there are indented. They're real. This thing right here is those orbs. Some kind of orbs. And they're shooting at something big. Um, let's see what else we could find here. Anyways, I just filmed this and did this while, you know, it was the middle of the night. And, and this one, I, this picture right here I find very interesting because um, it looks like the ground from the buildings are, are shooting out. So if you look at this right here, this is the front of a ship. And then this is another type of ship. These look like maybe German planes back in the... When we didn't know they had them, you know. And if you look at this item that's ripping through, it's indented um, on the right there. That line, that's a missile going out of that building. It wasn't an incoming, it was an outcome. It looked a tip of it. See on the tip of it, it's really pointy. I'm just trying to see if I can bring more. On. See, that's pretty intense. To have to go. They were shooting at these things. Now, we didn't have RPGs back then. 
we didn't have uh, rockets and missiles like we do now. We had cannons. Maybe the first beginning of the missiles. I don't know. And I'm not a history buff. I did get some red clips. I don't know if that was the film. You know how it gets like a burn look? Or if that was a red UFO. But this one right here, I've seen the tail of this thing sticking out of clouds many times. Many times. It looked like fuselage or whatever. It looks like a flying... <laughs> it looks like a flying shark right there, but... We know it's no fl such thing as flying sharks, so we ain't gonna go entertain that. But uh, the other ships, like these ships, could be German type ships. I'm just speculating, folks, making a show out of it, but it's just amazing footage. Well, now, I guess I'm going to keep talking because those, that's like two orbs and a saucer, um, to my look. And there's some kind of an airship there. There's, I don't know, turn of the century, if we had planes of that level yet. We might have. Like I said, I'm not a history buff. But, you know, what looks real to me looks real. That looks real. The building's real. I don't know the locations. I need help. If you guys put them in the comments, it'll be a great search for some of you that like to, you know, you study buildings and you study history and what they built. If you remember in the, big, in the beginning of the video, you saw stuff that looked like, you know, the building of Germany or some European country. Um, now this clone device, I'm trying to see if there's any like hidden or real tiny, but apparently there's not. And they get these peaked lines, so let me see. So let's see what I find. There's a lot more I've actually took pictures of. You've seen them all on the video right before I got here. Um, anytime you guys can stop and share those and uh, where these came from I have no clue I just know the guy had four hits on it on Facebook and the clip was all chopped up and dirty and bad maybe I'll put the, the clip at the end the whole clip so you can see it for yourself but this is a lot of chopping up and dissecting um, I'm so amazed at that missile like they're shooting a missile off now, this ship up here is Tells me that it's more of our thing than saucers. Um. My, my buddy Doug Douglas is kind of into the Tartarians. He said he's never seen it. And I say he's not the CGI. I just cut paste. Cut paste. Took the crap out and the marks and the cuts and. Oh, there's a lot of overexposure, so I don't know whether that's just a bad editor at a time. Look at that, that's clear. Clear where it is. Front of the car. I don't think we had to do that. We have we just didn't know about But you know, you heard of the foe fighters in Vietnam, shooting at them in the rivers. The bullets just come back at them. So. You know, poor God help the people that had to fight this war. I bet it was strange. Strange, strange. You never know. I don't know if this is going to happen in the future, but it might be something like this. It might be an independence day movie where the giant sauces park over the city and start controlling the people. But you know, whatever it's going to be, there's going to be great deception in it. People are going to believe a lie. And then they'll move into a delusion thinking that it's real. And it's actually just man made. But anyways, that's my opinion. Uh, you can kind of see it now. Newsom just uh, opened up a thousand fifty bucks for every person in California because there was a surplus of money of twenty three million dollars. Wow. Well, you know, I don't want to grab my hand out, but I'll take a thousand bucks right now. now. This looks like something that was shot. Get through the air. I don't know. 
you tell me, comment. Okay, I'll tell you to comment because I want to hear what you guys think. You know, with me, it's not an absolute unless I study it. And I can't find nothing to study on this. So this missile going off from the ground level, I don't know if it's from another ship or what. But you tell me. Timestamp, you see something interesting? This is the longest thing in the it doesn't mean I'm gone yet. Keep watching till you see the end cap. Okay? Bye. video like this on the internet and I hope it gets a thousand hits guys help me help me help me guys look at those that is amazing this ship just it's actually the same ship it's just moving so fast and uh it just boom, boom, boom. So, any video go back okay watch this whole video again with all this stuff I'm telling you and then maybe you'll get a different view of it it's like I understand this look at this it's mind blowing on the right and then it, then it looks like someone shot at it Bam, they blew it up. I'm like, bam! You know, like, I don't know if they blew it up, but the force field was on, but these are down here missiles. Okay, this is a spaceship up here. But the ones on the bottom are missiles. So it says this vain imagination. You know, watch me. I'm showing you stuff that has been delivered to me to show you on purpose. You can get the cars to get ready for the coming of the Lord Jesus. I mean, we, a lot of us won't even be here, folks. I'm just saying this to like those who decide to curse God and do all the culture of time, and that's what all of it is pretty perverted. Uh, and to believe all the lies and have fun at it. Um, those of us who are opening up and waking up to truth, um, you could think I'm full of crap. I've heard people say, that's crap. Yeah, let's see you find a picture like that and try to explain it. Come on. Anyways, I don't have trolls in my life no more because I'm Ha ha, Jesus grabs them and they get a hold of Jesus. You never hear them in a comment. Where are the trolls? That's the question. I don't want no trolls, but where are they? Where'd they go to? Troll heaven. That's all I can figure out.
So this guy on the building is a guy on the building. And the thing behind him I thought was just a cloud. It looks like a ship. So with this ending, I want to say farewell, guys. You know, watch and pray. Keep your eyes on the skies. And there's more to come. Um, I'm not done yet. Just in a few minutes. And thanks if you made it to the end. Let me know you made it to the end. Okay. Most people can't tolerate it. Don't allow themselves time. Look at that. I'm still gonna say that ship is amazing. Amazing!